Oh, he had to. That was... <gasps> wow! What's going on, guys? Akko here, coming at you with another match review, and this time we've got Enzim versus Zane. These are two of the U.S.'s strongest fighters, and this is the loser's side of the tournament, so whoever loses this goes home, which means these fellas are going to have to play at their best, so let's see what happens. And this one is starting off fast. A lot of pokes with assists going on. Good neutral stuff. That was a nice reaction to use the spin. Wow. Okay, so he gets a very fast pickup with the 5L. Luckily for him, that 5L is multi-hitting, so it makes it easier to convert. Let's see the knockdown. Very safe IDL here. Uh, he could have woke up with the spin, but it seems like he delayed the L. And what I really like is that he does a dash block into a uh, assist call into a Dragon Rush. So these are all very safe offensive options that are being covered very well. Good stuff. And here we go, a sparking lab coat, one of the pretty much the most dangerous thing in the game. Ooh, and there it goes. The 6M dash cancel. Ooh, but a drop. Wow, and then you get another pickup right away. <laughs> the lab coat privilege. What are we going to do with this? Just going to keep it simple. Oh, but he is dead. He built so much meter from being in Spark and just from lab coat's general nature. Dead. That level 3 does so much damage. It's such a good privilege to have on your team. Like, that amount of damage from a level 3 is just insane. Enzim is now behind, so he's going to have to make some decisions, and wow! Plus frames. He comes all the way down, very plus, and that was kind of like a strange landing, so I'm not surprised that Enzim got opened up here. It's like, it's weird the way he landed so close to him. And that setup right there is what makes this character so scary. It's just such a good way to meterlessly cover the wake up. Because in case you don't know, you get the knockdown, you place an orb as he's falling, and then you jump L it, and that will bump the orb into them, whether they up tech or back tech, forcing them to block, and then you re-jail them with a jab. It's beautiful stuff. Even if they try to super dash there, your jab checks them and you get a combo. It's amazing. Plus frames again, forcing. Oh, that was a very nice reaction. So he empty vanishes here and then immediately does the EX grab. That was beautiful. And converts it. Wow, man. Ensim was very ready. He was very ready. Oh, wow. Was that purposeful? I really think that was on purpose. Because in this combo, he can't exactly get a knockdown because he's already used it. So he just opted to do an L reset into Super Dash. Wow, Enzim is cooking. The reason this reset is so smart is because he's in sparking, so forcing him to block this Super Dash in the air is just insanely plus. See, Zane can't even get away here. He could have attempted to DP. That might have been what happened, but it just hit him so fast that he just gets picked up again. Wow, Enzim is really, man. There's a reason he's one of the US's best players. Ooh, now that was a drop, though. We did drop. That was a drop right there. Oh, my God. Look at how terrifying a sparked lab coat is. She's just literally everywhere. All over. Every direction. Wow, the clonk. The Dio pose. You're going to have to hold some mix here. Oh, the classic. So that situation is just one of those things to where she has so many things she can hit you with. She has a million lows. She has two different command grabs. She has two overheads. She just, <laughs> she's got everything. So the fact that all those thoughts are going through your head of like all the different possibilities and that's when the Dragon Rush gets you. 
having all those op dragon rush is only weak when it's your only option but when the opponent has to look for other things besides it that's when it becomes strong Ooh, dunks now Zane, notice how Zane is playing very, very slow because against lab coat you have to. The, the the spin could come at any moment. Wow, that was very cheap. Barrier into Vegito. Pretty much nothing you could do there. He would have had to have canceled into Super Dash. That's the only thing that could have saved him. Now we got Solo Zom. Uh, I believe in Solo Zom. Because of this right right here, Zamasu has his own plus frames, he has his own tick throw setups, he has his own Oki. He's just meter dependent, because look, he's already in. I do believe in solo Zamasu. Very strong. Look at that. Plus plus frames for days, you are able to get in and you are able to mix alone. And you slow the match down, because look, Enzim is just, he doesn't want any part of this, so he's playing very conservative. He's waiting for his assist to come up before he does anything. Wow, Stomp. Man, the amount of low options that she has is just ridiculous because Zane rightly starts standing here because usually in most situations, if you see a Key Blast, the threat of the low is gone. But however, against Lab Coat, that is not true. After a Key Blast, she still has access to two lows that she can do. So against this character, you're never safe. Boom. Going down, I'm pretty sure we're gonna level three here. Yep, and we want Vegito since we get the corner seal. Keep it ambiguous. And Zane block this. Ooh, same side. I saw a micro walk of shame. Hmm, and he's putting some spice on it. Jeez, all this from a mix up. And that was enough. Wow. Damn. That was optimal stuff. Enzim, you can tell he's in the zone, bro. Like, with the way he looks and the way he's playing, he is focused. He wants to win this. I like that Zane's taking a moment to, uh, to to contemplate. That's very important. Especially if you lose the round, you don't want to just mash and get right back in there. You want to take that second and, you know, think things through. Slow it down. Whoa. And here, uh, Zane is being very aggressive, but a nice use of his assists here. So he does super dash call assist. Uh, Enzim opts to reflect. He gets, he sees that Vegito A is coming out, so he wants to once again does Super Dash Call Assist. And Super Dash Call Beers is very, very powerful because you're locked for so long. Covers it with the overhead, but Enzim is in the zone. He blocks it and reflects the low. This man Enzim is ready, and he punished the barrier. Man, look at how long he waited. He didn't just run up and swing. He he poked with his assist behind him moves up with a dash block and then he's like oh okay he's barriering let me wait punish it man that is very good stuff man very very impressive stuff going on Ooh, okay the scariest wake up option but it was blocked Ooh, and we meet in the middle Most likely Hell Zone. What do we do with it? Hmm. Another attempt. Ooh, and that does beat. <laughs> that does beat pressure. The DP, the the risky move. But in Gogeta's case, it's worth it because you get the corner. If you're right, you get the corner. So it is worth the risk. Wow, did you see the stutter steps? That was a spark bait if I've ever seen one. He was literally just sitting here waiting. Are you gonna spark, are you gonna spark? No, okay, I'm gonna put a button on your block. This button was also a guard cancel bait. That's why he did a 5M, nothing else. Because if you try to guard cancel against lab coats 5M, she can still 2H you. So if he had done guard cancel vanish or a regular guard cancel, he would've got 2H. That's why it was a singular 5M with nothing else because this was a huge bait. Ooh. The early spark is so dangerous. Wow, damn. So he goes for, he, he staggers him with the L's to keep him in place. And then he goes for the fake cross up, but ends him once again is very on point and just immediately 2H's it. Uh, 2H will always beat a fake cross up and an actual cross up, but it's just the risk of hitting 2H because they might continue their stagger, but he was on point.
swinging already. A little stutter step too, where he walks back around, walks back around. He ends up is baiting so hard, bro, but that's really good stuff on Zane's part. He's not taking the baits. That's why Enzim keeps doing those 5M, 2M, nothing. He's baiting reversals. But we got the Hell Zone again. Had to spark, can't see. Ooh. So not a bad option there. Definitely not a bad option there. He does a 2H to check anything Labcoat might do, because against Zamasu, even if she were to do a 5S, his 2H would win. But Enzim opts to do the safe thing, which is backdash call assist, and that is going to splash Zamasu's 2H, which has a billion frames of recovery on it. Ooh, a rare drop. Whoa. Whoa. So this was a galaxy brain decision. Wow, that feels bad for Enzim here. He was playing so well until he dropped this combo and then he opted to do a meaty 5M, but that missed as well. And then he gets super dashed into a happy birthday. So that's very, very unfortunate. Uh, what's really smart about this on Zane's part is that doing this move right here ends happy birthdays because it's going to trigger the wall bounce and you can't wall bounce and assist character. So realizing this and realizing that lab coat is available, Zane active tags, which prevents them from bumping into the wall. And lab coat, big surprise, is the best happy birthday character in the whole game. So this guarantees that assist character is now dead. That this this was a a huge brain move right here. Yes. Man. One drop combo is all it can take. Enzim was basically in the driver's seat and one drop combo later, he is on the fence now. Whoa. Same side, high, low. Hell zone, no, we're just going for the flight mix. I like the charge there, I like the charge. Jeez, okay, wow, I gotta break that one down. So, this one's interesting. I know that wasn't on purpose. So, Zane gets hit by the guard cancel, by the guard cancel vanish. Flips out of the corner, he tries to go into flight mode, but ends him passed under him, which causes the slicer to come out. But at the same time, did you see what happened? Enzim ran under him and tried to super dash, but because he ran under him and super dashed, his super dash did that thing to where it loses tracking. So it loses tracking, so it turns his super dash into just a jump, and he gets hit by the missed input flight mode. Wow, this is like, <laughs> this is literally a comedy of errors. This is, that, that little moment right there was hilarious. Nobody got what they wanted. Literally, no one got what they wanted there. <laughs> Man, that was insane. We got the cat in here now. Cat is getting carried to the corner, right where Lab Coat wants you. Oh, okay. I like that. I actually like that. It didn't work out in the end, but I like getting Lab Coat out because she's in one touch territory. But he got—he ended up getting BP'd, but it was a smart decision. Ooh. Debuffed. So, even though Vegito has such low health here, I mean, he's nerfed, so... There's not as much urgency to get him out as there would normally be because he's he's nerfed. Oh, that was that was very very smart. So everybody knows after a post throw break, uh, Lab Coat is a very difficult character to challenge because she can spin. So any kind of air move you would do here, and you're always going to be in the air after a throw break, is going to be costly, but Enzim waits and does the anti-air grab. Very smart stuff. Very smart stuff here. I can block everything. I can't block that. I can't block that. Well, I think he came down to timing Zane 
Very nice conversion there. Ooh, and then that's the Lab Coat Classic. Spin across the screen and then call your assist for when they try to chase you. And in this case, Beers A is insanely fast, so it gets the pickup. That one is death. And now, Enzim is left with a nerfed Anchor Vegito. Ooh, very, very plus. Man, the fact that that crosses up the way it does now is so crazy. Look at that. That's such a deep cross up. It's actually pretty cool. Very similar to a Street Fighter cross up. Splash. So much zoning going on. Orbs everywhere. Whoa, okay, I'm pretty sure that was a input error. I can't imagine he meant to do that on purpose. That had to be an input error. There's there's too much going on for that to be an actual grab attempt. Funny thing is he would be very dead right here if it wasn't for the for the nerf. Ooh, a little bit of a walk of shame, but he blocked. <laughs> Man, Ensign was holding on there with, look at Zane, he's like, God. <laughs> he's shaking his head like, man, this dude had 1%. <laughs> he had 1%. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, this is very, very intense. It's like when two players of equal skill level are playing in this game, it's just every single decision is so crucial. It's so crucial. Here we go, last round. Loser goes home. Whoa! Man, it's rare that you see round start super dash actually connect, but damn, Enzim tried to beat it, but it was a little too close and a little too fast. He got hit. It's pretty rare you see round start super dash actually hit at top level in this game. Gets the first knockdown. Ooh, Enzim doing nothing on wake up. I respect it. Just blocking. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, I like that. I like that there. So this is this is something that I always say, and it's a quote that I got from Damascus. The most optimal combo is the one that doesn't drop. So here, he could have gone for the rejump, but as you've seen in the last match, a dropped combo is what made him lose that last match. So the adjustment here is I'm going to make my combos a little bit simpler and I'm going to focus on just getting this knockdown here. And I, I like that a lot. I love it. That's very smart stuff. Ooh, reflect into the spin. Ooh. Oh my God. Goodness, so whenever this happens, it's just hilarious. So spin on spin, whoever does it second wins. It's like the only thing that can defeat this move is itself. It's it's pretty hilarious. That was a distance thing. He thought he was closer to the corner than what he was. Man, they're playing some fast neutral. Fast neutral. Nobody wants to go home. But if you're working on your neutral, make a note of the decisions being made here. I always talk about, you know, poking with your assist, but also make a note of these movement options. See how they are using the super momentum jump, which is to dash forward and then super jump. See, like here, uh, Zane goes in with the momentum super jump and he's like, oh, never mind, I don't want to land on that. And then he back dashes and it's as if nothing happened. So this is a good way to check the situation. And you see Enzim does it to him too, jumping over him. So it's like, the fact that you have two air options always means that you can kind of scope the situation and then if you don't like what's going on, you can back off. And then they get into a little bit of an assist war there and Zane comes out on top. Ooh, level three. What is the knockdown? Ooh. 
Ooh, okay, so that was one of those moments where it's like, I believe you're going to wait to spark, so I'm just going to grab you while covering myself with an assist. Good stuff. But Enzim opted to jump, but that ended up in a situation where he got crossed up. Ouch. Wow. Wow. That was insane. So Enzim's trying to do the, the classic here. Uh, as I mentioned in the last match, uh, whip a good EX move, call assist, but he did not count on the power of the spin. It pulls him in from behind, auto-correcting, and allowing for a combo. Sheesh. 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 Ooh, nice blocking. Tetris going on here. Tetris, and then he finally swings and gets hit. Oh, wow. What in the... Okay, that was really crazy. So not only did he drop this combo, uh, I feel like his input didn't come out. I'm pretty sure he meant to do a jump and then a command grab, but in Zane does... Enzim does uh, down tech buttons and an, an all-out scramble breaks out, ending with Enzim getting the pickup. Wow, that was a crazy moment right there. Go ahead and get Vegito out of there. I agree. So Gogeta Blue, post level three, not the craziest. Let's see what he does here. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that was beautiful. So he did a singular jab into the EX overhead. That was so tight because he could have... He could have let the jabs rock. He could have done jab command grab. He could have done a lot of different stuff here, but that was really cool. I like that. Damasu coming in. Very aggressive round start. Wow. Jeez, that was... Man. Okay, that's a little strange there that he was able to get the defensive. Because look... He's in the middle of blocking Beer's assist. It must be because he reflected. Because he reflected, it gave him a window. But man, that's crazy because Zane is literally in the middle of his pressure. This looked like a season one moment. Like in season one, if there's even like a frame gap in your string, the person could call defensive assists and hit you out of it. That's what this looked like right here. Oh my god, once again, that 5LL being multi-hitting means you get those conversions. The privilege. Alright, post level 3 with Gogeta again. Let's see what happens this time. Whoa, that was dangerous. Nice float. Oh, that was a crazy pickup, and we get the, the side switch. Oh, he had to. That was... <gasps> wow, <laughs> that was, man, that was so Dragon Ball. He did button, button, IED, back dash to bait the 2H. That was beautiful, and then went to punish it with a 2M. Zane realizes this, vanishes to get out of trouble, but then ends in counter, vanishes to beat that. Wow, that was just a sequence of reactions. Beautiful stuff. All we got left is the cat now. Who's going home? Ooh. Basketball. There goes the Oki setup again. Ooh. Damn, he actually did get the hit there, but he did not believe. I-D-L-L, -L, the second L hit. 
but he had already made up his mind to try a Dragon Rush. He did not realize the L hit. Man, it always sucks when that happens. Ooh, nice way to cover the post-throw mix-up, by the way. <laughs> oh, man, the the look-into-my-eye moment, the... The, the stare down, like neither player wants to do anything. Amazing. <laughs> oh, he tried to catch him and get super dash for his trouble. And now it is 1v1. At still has the spark. What's going to happen? Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Zane's got, so, I mean, Inzim's got so much meter. Jeez. Seven bars. Whoa. This, they are moving so fast. Oh my. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jeez. That was crazy. Man, I actually forgot that's how this match ended. So Enzim goes for the EX kicks just to cover himself and take up some space. But for once in a lifetime, the EX kick clashes with a super dash instead of beating it outright. And because it clashed, it uh, it becomes cancelable immediately, meaning that Zane is allowed to jab and he does immediately and gets the pickup. Wow, that is insane. Wow. What a way to end that match. That was insane. That was definitely a really powerful set. Like, a lot, a lot of high-level decisions going on there. And that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, hit the like if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next match video, match review, or echo guide. And I will see you fellas next time. Peace.